The upcoming iPhone 16 Pro models are set to undergo some exciting design changes, including larger screens and an overall bigger profile. Not only that, but these devices will also come packed with a range of internal variations that will be utilized by the company's innovative generative AI features. And here's the latest scoop. The bigger iPhone 16 Pro Max is rumored to feature brand new 48 megapixel wide and ultra wide cameras. This leak, which originated from a reliable source on Weibo, essentially confirms what Ming-Chi Ku predicted earlier this year about the camera upgrade for the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max models. According to the tipster, the main camera sensor on the iPhone 16 Pro will be the Sony IMX803 sensor, the same one found on the 15 Pro models. On the other hand, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will boast a more advanced IMX903 sensor. But that's not all. Both the 16 Pro and Pro Max are expected to sport 48 megapixel ultra wide cameras, a significant improvement from the 12 megapixel cameras on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max models. This means higher resolution and a larger sensor size, although it may come at the cost of pixel size, which could shrink from 1 micron on the iPhone 15 Pro's 12 megapixel sensor to 0.7 microns on the iPhone 16 Pro's 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor. However, don't worry too much about this potential trade-off. Despite the smaller pixel size on paper, it's unlikely to have a significant impact on performance thanks to a technique called pixel binning. Most phones with high-resolution camera sensors use pixel binning to combine adjacent pixels and create one super pixel, resulting in more detailed images. So, it's safe to say that we can expect this technology to be present in the iPhone 16 as well. Now, when it comes to the telephoto cameras, the Phone 16 Pro Max is expected to feature a 5X telephoto camera, which remains the same as the previous model. However, there could be a significant change in the layout of the rear camera setup, with a vertical pill-shaped camera island similar to the iPhone X. These details align with the rumors surrounding the camera upgrades for the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. Analyst Ku has hinted at a possible upgrade for the selfie camera, but that might be reserved for the iPhone 17, set to launch in 2025. There's a chance we might see a 24 megapixel front sensor, doubling the current 12 megapixel camera resolution. Ku's track record of accurate predictions gives credibility to this analysis. Apart from this, Apple's upcoming flagship, the iPhone 16 Pro Max, is rumored to boast an impressive battery life upgrade. According to renowned analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, the upcoming iPhone 16 Pro Max is rumored to offer even longer endurance compared to its predecessor. But here's the interesting part. Apple isn't simply increasing the battery capacity. Instead, they are said to be using a cell with higher energy density, allowing for a longer-lasting battery while maintaining the same size. Alternatively, Apple might choose to maintain a similar battery life but make the cell smaller. Either way, thanks to this new battery technology and the powerful at 18 Pro processor, we can expect a noticeable boost in battery life for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And that's not all. This advancement could potentially make the device lighter and slimmer too. Kuo also mentioned that the supply chain survey hints at an increase in energy density for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Of course, this might lead to some thermal challenges, but Apple has a solution up its sleeve a stainless steel battery case to prevent overheating. This marks the first time Apple will be using this material for its battery case. While it's still uncertain which technology Apple will employ for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, the shift to stainless steel aligns with the EU's future requirements for battery replaceability. However, it's worth noting that stainless steel may not dissipate heat as effectively as aluminum. Stay tuned for more updates as we uncover additional information about the 2024 iPhones. After all, battery life is a crucial aspect of the iPhone experience, and it seems like Apple is determined to take it to the next level with the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro series. Users tend to prioritize the processor, camera, and display over the battery when considering an iPhone purchase. However, the battery is a crucial component of a smartphone, as without power, the device is useless. Apple continuously works on improving battery life to ensure users can enjoy day-long usage of their smartphones. Meanwhile, Apple is set to make a splash with its new iPhone 16 lineup, which will be released later this year in the fall. The two non-pro models, the standard iPhone 16 and the larger iPhone 16 Plus, are rumored to come in a variety of exciting new colors. 
In the past, Apple has offered five color options for their iPhones, and this time is no different. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus were available in black, blue, green, yellow, and pink. However, according to a reliable source, Apple analyst Ming Chi Kuo, the upcoming iPhone 16 and 16 Plus will introduce a slight change. The yellow color will be replaced by a fresh white option, while the other colors will remain the same. Kuo also mentioned that Apple might consider renaming some of the existing colors. It's worth noting that even if the names stay the same, there could still be subtle differences in tone and appearance. This leaves room for Apple to surprise us with some exciting variations. An earlier rumor suggested that Apple might break away from its usual five-color scheme for the upcoming 6.7-inch iPhone 16 Plus. According to the Weibo-based leaker Fixed Focus Digital, the larger iPhone 16 Plus model could be available in up to seven different colors. These colors may either be variations of the existing five colors in the standard iPhone 15 lineup or entirely new finishes. However, the leaker did not provide any additional information about whether these seven color options would also be available for the smaller iPhone 16. It is possible that the leaker has only seen materials related to the larger device in the supply chain, and the same colors could potentially be offered for the smaller 6.1-inch iPhone 16 as well. This rumor is the earliest one we have heard regarding the color options for the standard iPhone 16 models. However, the leaker's track record for accurate leaks is unproven, so it may be more reliable to trust Ming Chi Kuo's claims instead. While the Weibo leak is plausible, it is more probable that Apple will stick with the same number of colors as last year for both models. Now for those of you excited for the Apple iPhone 16 series, we're now going to run through the full specs design and the pricing for each model in the range to help you guys decide which one is right for you. For my regular viewers, you guys have seen this, so just skip to the next video. But if you're new here, then hit subscribe now, and we'll get right into it. So first up, we have the standard iPhone 16. With the standard iPhone 16, we get a 6.3-inch OLED display, but unfortunately, this is still going to be an LTPS display. The iPhone 16 is going to have a taller aspect ratio than last year, and it's going to be protected by ceramic shield too. We get the new dynamic island, which covers up the 12 megapixels selfie camera and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 12 megapixels primary camera and a 12 megapixels ultra wide. It's powered by the 18 chipset and it's likely coming with six gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of storage. It's also powered up by a 3561 milliamp hour battery with 30 watts fast charging and it's going to come with advanced 5G. Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6E now, it will of course ship with iOS 18 and it's expected to launch from around $850 in September 2024. Now next up, we've got the iPhone 16 Plus. With the iPhone 16 Plus, we get a 6.9 in OLED display and again, unfortunately, this is another LTPS display. It's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor and it's protected by Ceramic Shield 2. We get the new dynamic island, which covers up the 12 megapixels selfie cameras and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 12 megapixels primary camera and a 12 megapixels ultra wide. It's powered by the 18 chipset and it's likely going to come with a choice of six gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of storage. It's powered by a 4,006 milliamp hour battery with 30 watts fast charging and it comes with the advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 6E. Now, of course, it ships with iOS 18, and it's expected to launch from around $950 in September 2024. Next up, we got the iPhone 16 Pro. Now the iPhone 16 Pro has a 6.3 and 120 Hz LTPO OLED display. It's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor, and the Pro is protected by Ceramic Shield 3. We get the new dynamic island which covers up the 12 megapixels selfie camera and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we get a 48 megapixels primary camera, a 48 megapixels ultra wide camera, then we've got a 12 megapixels tetra prism camera with 5 times optical zoom. It's powered up by the 18 Pro chipset and it comes with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 1 terabyte of storage and it's also powered by a 3450 milliamp hour battery and fast charging is still unknown at the moment, but we do expect some improvements, and of course it comes with the advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. 
It will of course ship with iOS 18, and it's expected to launch from around $1,100 in September 2024. Now finally, we save the best to last the iPhone 16 Pro Max. With the iPhone 16 Pro Max, we get a 6.9-inch 120Hz LTPO OLED display. Again, like the other phones, it's got a taller aspect ratio than its predecessor, and it's protected by Ceramic Shield 3. We get the Dynamic Island, which covers up the 12 megapixels, selfie cameras, and face ID sensors. Then on the rear, we've got a 48 megapixels primary camera, a 48 megapixels ultra-wide, and a 12 megapixels tetraprism camera with 5 times optical zoom. It's powered up by the A18 Pro chipset. It comes with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 1 terabyte of storage, and it's powered up by a 4676 mAh battery. As with the 16 Pro, we don't know the fast charging at the moment, but we do expect to see some improvements. Now it comes up with the advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7, and it will of course ship with iOS 18, and this one's expected to launch around $1,300 in September 24. So overall, the iPhone 16 series is looking like a great addition to the iPhone lineup. More things remain similar. There are still plenty of upgrades with the new hardware to power it better and brighter displays. Along with the new battery thermal technology, this should really enhance the experience and work well with the new A features. Now, of course, because of all the similarities to its predecessor, it's probably not going to make anyone with an iPhone 15 rush for an upgrade, but for anyone with an older iPhone or looking to get their first iPhone, that it's going to be a great choice. Now, of course, as we approach the launch, more and more information is going to continue to come in, and I'll be sharing it as soon as it does, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.